sveiki, šiandieną atvažiavome į kavos plantaciją ir žiūrėsim, ką mums čia parodys. Kitas etapas, kupelių rinkimas. Tai reikia rinkti tik tai tokias raudonas, kurios buvo iš to ne kažką, kuriuo vadinasi. Tereza. In the world, there are three class of coffee. Yeah? Depending on size and weight. The name is Pergamino. Pergamino. The size. Please attention. Good, regular and bad. Ready? Is clear? Yes. The name in Spanish is Musilago. Musilago. Musilago, the slimy thing, the mucus. Right now we're living what is known as the third wave of cars. Okay, so let's say the first wave was Oh, what Starbucks kind of popularized and like this big roaster. Mm -hmm. Then came second wave that's related to espresso coffee, espresso coffee machines. Mm -hmm. And now artisanal brewing systems, mm -hmm. uh, smaller like uh, coffee oh, shops yeah. that are approaching the crop to the end consumer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of chances for new innovation. Mm -hmm. Now, what Fabian is saying is that, and I was, I was mentioning it too, the traditional approach is to get rid of the mucilage. Now, in a town that is called Jardin, and there's a cooperative there, they came up with a kind of coffee that is called honey. honey. So what's the thing with coffee? They're with honey coffee, that instead of getting rid of the mucilage, they, left, they leave it on. Yeah. And they dry their coffee with that sweet, slimy thing. The taste, the taste, the taste is, different. is different and it doesn't work, okay? But uh, innovation sometimes brings markup, right? Uh, so it's interesting what's going on with coffee. Now. So when this canal is going to be filled with water, a lot of water, okay? So as, as the current flows, everything that is going to be floating is going to come over these kind of blockings. You see, this comes like this, put it here. So everything that is on the surface mm -hmm. is going to begin to float. So the first, let's call them floaters, the first floaters are going to end up there and that's going to be our worst quality. Now there is a, a worker or somebody has to like stir it up and to make them float again, the, the second floaters will make more or less medium quality that, they, that usually they stay in the second part of the canal. And everything that stays at the bottom, that, that will be our best quality. Okay, so that's why it's very important to, to have this, uh, this uh, canal. Sometimes in a tank, if you have a, a smaller facility, you can just skim it with, a, with, a, or no, with whatever, just the, the, things that, the beans that float are gonna be our worst quality. Okay. And you sell all three qualities? Though? Yeah, very good question. Yeah, we're selling coffee, not drinking coffee here. Okay, so <laughs> everything, everything has a market. Pasillas, remember the little raisin, the, the, the kind of prune kind, are floating. It's analyzed, for example, this kind of bean. It's very, it's very light. For some reason, maybe uh, it could be affected by the bug. The bug is, is started to, you see, to get inside the bean. That's why it's called the drill bug. It's like a drill. Mm. If you have bugs on the pool, that's not our main concern. If it gets inside the bean, okay, that is trouble. Usually this bug eats the bean, everything that eats has to poop, right? Mm -hmm. So inside what we have is bug poop, right? And that's why Colombia has to watch out for quality. We cannot export this kind of beans. Mom 
paaiškino, kad iš tikrųjų kolumbietiška kava skiriasi nuo kitų, tarkim, kubietiškas tuo, kad e, kolumbiečiai viską renka rankomis, kadangi jų kavos plantacijos būna labai aukštai kalnuose ir kadangi jie renka rankomis, jie geriau atskiria kavos e, pupilės nuo paties pirminio taško, nes iš tikrųjų jas reikia rinkti tik tada, kai jos būna e, raudono spalvos. Ir kitas dalykas, e, dar ko skiriasi pati kokybė, kadangi jie e, į tą geriausias kovos kokybę deda pačias geriausias pupelės. O tarkim, kubiečiai tiesiog sumaišo visas tarpusėvėje ir iš to padaro kavą. Dėl to jie reikia dėti papildomus ingredientus, tokius kaip, tarkime, cukro arba pieną, kad skonis būtų geresnis. The name is green coffee. In green coffee, when you have coffee at this moment, at this stage, there's still a final classification. You see some of them were discarded. Here is where you have to look for the 14 possible defects. Three class of coffee. All brands will have instant coffee, medium coffee, I mean, or good coffee too. Nestle. Nestle buys worse coffee for Nescafe and the best coffee for the Nespresso. That's very good coffee. I mean, the quality is very good and it's bought by the same company. Sakyk, kavos plantacija kiekviena pupelė turi savo rinką, taip kad jie viena nėra nešmetama. Taigi, kaip matome, čia yra gera kokybė, čia yra į prastos kavos kokybė, o čia yra tirpios kavos kokybė. Taip kad prieš gerą tirpę kavą pagalvokite dar kartą. Gerą kapą galima pažinti pagal tris kriterijus, tai yra klapas prieš užpilant vandenį, klapas po užpilimą ir skonis. Taigi apsilankėme kavos plantaciją, turėjome visą turą, apsirėjome kaip auga ir bresta kavos patelės, pabandėme jas atskirti ir išmėginome patį skonį. Taigi labai ačiū. Gracias. Įvaikom. kaip čia bus ragaus, ir dar kažkais, kai čia man aiškino, kas tas pikantė, taip ir ne labai supratau, bet jį reikia dėti čia. Tai va, žodžiu, bandysim. Muzika 